It's now time for your semi-main event of the evening. The following contest is a one-on-one -on -one match and it is scheduled for one ball. Introducing first, from Bayonne, New Jersey. Oh boy, <laughs> here we go. Weighing in at 300 pounds, he is the Bayonne Badass, Danny Ma! I think I'm gonna have to teach JD to do the one four without some <laughs> Sign, It's a timing issue, yeah. Here it comes. Danny Moff, the man known as the Bayonne Badass, the king of the effing north, and a man who has been to Alaska for many of our tours and had classic matchups. Most recently competing in the Dream 16, crowning a champion tournament back in December of 2021. But man, you don't remember who the first one he wrestled here was? The first one he wrestled was John Morrison for, for the, the Impact Johnny Wrestling. Johnny Impact, yes, for the Impact Championship. He has many names, that guy, yeah. What, he was Johnny Impact that actually, night? Actually, you know what's funny is he actually told me in the back, he's like, I, he, I, I wish he would have done it, but he's like, I should call myself um, Johnny Alaska. Johnny Alaska, yeah, makes sense. You could never correct me on his last name, he's got a million of them. But anyway, Dan Moff here, getting ready for this semi-main event. And his opponent, from Anchorage, Alaska, weighing 205 pounds. Yeah. Oh, God. Come on, Moff. You know, I'd say Dan Moff is in a foul mood, but that should go without saying. I don't think I've ever seen Moff in a good This way. is Oren West! And for those unaware, Oren West, Dan Moff's opponent here, is the son of 907 Academy owner and head trainer JT West, who's also a ring announcer here tonight. And I think Moff's going to take a little bit of pleasure in taking the young Oren West to school here. Most recently, we've seen Oren more in tag team competition as part of the Wild West. And he is in singles action here tonight. And I got to tell you, this is the biggest test of his young career. I don't think you have to state that, like, for anyone looking in the ring. They don't even need to know what the hell Oren has done in his wrestling career to not realize that this is by far the biggest test. Wait a minute. Wait, wait, wait. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, JT is going to take a front row seat here. Sorry, Cap. Moff is really jawing at JT. Oh boy. Oh boy. Business. Business just picked up. I've never seen that look tension, on JT's before. Tension is, yeah. tension is... You gotta think, Kev. I mean, he trained his son. He's putting him in there against Dan Moff. There's gotta be some trepidation in JT West. He, he, he knows what Moff is capable of. If you've never seen Dan Moff, make sure you go to the WrestlePro YouTube channel. Check out some of Moff's matches, his classic matches on there. Collar and elbow tie up. Come up to the corner. Oh, no. Come on, ref, get in there. The referee's going to be crucial in this matchup to keep Warren West from just getting obliterated. Oh, boy. A lot of talent in this young man, but. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no, this is. Oh, this no. is awkward. This is. You got to understand, for those watchers that don't understand what's going on, Oren West is JT West's son. And he's in there right now with the. Oh, my. 18 the scare, years old. 18 the years. Scariest individual that is possibly wrestling today Agreed. like this isn't like hey i hope my son can beat dan Moff. it's i want my son to survive dan moff and not end up in the oh, damn no. emergency room by the end of tonight we see it we see you ma all right come on come on ma no oh, he missed Warren West using his speed. Definitely gonna need to use that. He misses. He misses the chop. I mean, you gotta figure Dan Moff sees this as a tune-up for his big matchup with Killer Cross tomorrow night at the Egan Center. And again, backing Orn into the corner. 
This is this is tense. Mock John at Kevin Matthews over here. Commentary. John at JT West. John at the fans. As Owen West now grabs a wrist lock. He's gonna have to use every trick his daddy taught him to have his chance here against Danny Moff. And a big knee. And come on. Woo! Oh man, snaps the air back. Sorry. I, I, I just realized I was speechless. I'm like zoned in. I forget that I'm also on commentary and I need to call this damn match because Arn West right now is wrenching the arm and dude, I don't care how much this kid has been to the gym. No 18 year old on the planet wow. is going to be able to, t I mean, dude, I've been in the ring enough. I tried to give him an arm ring and I'm like, what the hell am I doing? This ain't working. So. Oof, I've shared the ring with Moff many times as a referee, and I've seen the destruction he can cause in there. So, oh, there we go. I never have and never will and never want to take a strike like that from Danny Moff. Guaranteed. I don't think anybody does. The referee looks even timid to tell Moff to stop grabbing the hair, to get Moff out of the corner. There's nobody more intimidating than Danny Moff. Nobody. Oh! A big chop, and Orrin West now down in the corner. Moff always has the nice damn boots. If you ever been to Moff's house, he has a legit closet just of his boots. The dude has like 30-something pairs of wrestling boots. Head up to it. He's an 18-year-old, yeah. He's like, and that headbutt, I'm not even saying it didn't hurt Moff. You know what I mean? But it's just like, you even, sure? if it, <laughs> no, even if it did, He'll laugh about it. Like yep. the guy likes pain. He's a sadistic individual. And to hurt this guy, it, I mean, I don't know what the hell it takes. All right, Moff now taking on to the outside right in front of JT. Oh, Jesus. Oh, no. No, no, no. Come on. Oh, oh, Jesus! Oh. Jesus! How can you? I can't even put myself in JT West's shoes right now to sit here and watch this. I mean, Kevin, 18, were you ever in the ring with anybody like Moff? Yeah, I was in the ring with uh, ECW uh, shooter Tom Marquez, who beat the ever-living crap out of me at 18 so, in the Battle Royal. So you're familiar with the scenario. I then. am very familiar with the scenario, and I remember thinking at 18, there's nothing I can freaking do about this. I just got to take this beating and hope to survive. And I mean, Oren West right now, he's, but see, he's getting back up. Like, yes. That's, that, 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 it's not a victory, but in some sense it is, because most people will be like, either they could, he could run. He could, he could just literally run. Oh. Oh, he could. He, he could have not taken this booking. I mean, this is not a surprise to him. He knew what he was getting in the ring with. He's been on shows with Dan Moff here in Alaska. He knew what was coming, and he wanted to test himself. And this is what we call in wrestling, paying your dues, and Moff now biting. But again, and it's not even a, a situation where, where it's like, I, I think I can beat him. No. It's, it's your it's your putting yourself in there and seeing how you measure up with him because he is a measuring stick. Not here in Alaska, everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. I mean, if he survives this. Oh, do you not realize what the hell he's doing? He brought JT uh, or West in front of his father, JT, inches away from him and made JT watch his son get chopped right in front of him. Uh, and you're asking, why didn't JT do something? Because if he does, his son gets wait disqualified. Oh, God. He just took it away from the people. Moth motion as he was going to throw Oren into the chairs and the crowd. He did not. Now he's toying with the fans. He's already toying with Oren. He's toying with JT. Now he's toying with the fans. As he brings the action back into the ring. We don't know what in the sadistic line he has playing here, but oh, big right hand by Orrin West. Kind of shook off there. I mean, listen, don't get me wrong. And another. The right punch by anybody. If you connect on the right spot of the chin, maybe behind the temple, behind the ear or something, it can rock you. And right now, here we go. He's hitting, he's firing back. Keep going, kid. If it's working, don't stop. Oh, he got him! He shot him across the ring! Superhuman straight by a stinger splash! splash. Moff is... Oh, no! Oh, oh he, he just... He just snuffed him out of the air. Chopped him in the gut. That, too. 
As I said before, Dan Moff will be in action tomorrow night against Killer Cross. He's going to welcome Cross to Alaska for the first time, live from the Egan Center and live on Fight TV. But right now, he's got Owen West back to his feet. And right back down. JT West is in the corner pacing. He's pacing around. He's rubbing his head. He's watching this. I mean, just watching his son take a beating at the hands of the Bayonne Badass, Dan Moff. They call him the Bayonne Badass. They also call him the Bariqua Badass. No matter which way you flip the coin, he is a badass. The fans here getting behind Orange JT now slapping the ring. Orange firing up on Moff. Keep going, kid. Oh, 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 robbed him, he stunned him. Moff on Dream Street, double boot. Moff is down to a knee, this is your, he slipped, no, no, no. Get your footing, kid, get your footing. Oh. oh, damn it, damn it. That one second, that one second. That slip, that little oh. slip, gave Moff enough time to clear the cobwebs. Oh, he had it and then he caught his, he got caught up, slipped a little bit, got his foot feeding, oh, feeding. Got feeding. his, got his uh, feet under him. And he, in just that nanosecond, he... I don't uh, care who you are, you can't make a mistake against him. I don't no. care if you're 18 or 40 or whatever. Oh, no, no. He's going to rip his head. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Ripping at the teeth and the jaw, fingers in the mouth. Come on, ref, get in there. Come on, ref. He's ripping. His He's in the ropes. Been... Come on, ref. JT now. Ooh. JT might get his son disqualified if he gets too heavily involved. Like I said, the referee looks intimidated by Moff. He doesn't want to tell Moff what to do. Who the hell does? Listen, I don't have a kid. I can't. I have a niece and I have a nephew. And I know what I would do for them. I right. can't. You have a son. Yes. I know. Put yeah. yourself in JT's position. Can't do it. Can't right do now, it. look at JT. He's freaking out. Moff has got him up for his finishing move, the burning hammer. And, whoa, wait a minute, Orin West flips out of it. Or did Moff put him down? Nope. Moff's taunting him. It's the ropes. Where's he going? Big elbow. He stuns him. A beautiful right. Discus oh. with the foul. The adrenaline is flowing now. He took him down with that big discus clothesline. Orin, here's your moment. Stay on him. You have a rock. Oh, now he's no, pissed. No, he's not rocking anymore. Now he's anymore. pissed. It went from stunned to pissed. I think Moff is embarrassed by that. I mean, that was a JT, big clothesline. JT West is beside himself. And where is Moff is, where is he going? Is it, Danny Moff is leaving? Was it? Oh my God. No, it's Bob, what the hell? Why is Bob Catton? What the hell? Bobcat McDillon, who has a very, very detailed history with Danny Moff at our WrestlePro Alaska events has now come out in the in the aisle to stop Moff. The referee's counting and oh no, he's choking out Bobcat, which is, no oh. Dion Roosman. Dion Roosman leading the locker room here. The 907 Academy students have come out in support of Bobcat, in support of Oren. They are walking Moff back to the ring. Moff, oh, Whoa, this is what the crowd's going crazy right now. WrestlePro Gold Champion Dion Rusman. This has turned into a virtual lumberjack match. It looks that way, Kev. JT now in his face. Moff looks like he was walking away. He, he was going to leave this match. Is take the count out loss? I don't know. But the 907 locker room's not letting that happen. Right, From behind, roll up, schoolboy. One, two, no. Moff <laughs> kicks out at two and a half. The locker room surrounding the ring. The Art of Rec Center's rocking here. Oh! He super kicked him to the face, pulls him in. Pin. Pin. One, two. It's got to be no! a goal. The ground's coming unglued. Arn West is not going out without a fight. This is incredible! 
The crowd here at the Arctic Rec Center in Anchorage, Alaska has come alive. The locker room, the 907 Wrestling Academy locker room has emptied out in support of Orrin West. Moff now picking West up. Another big headbutt. He's saying that's it. I feel like Moff could end this whenever he wanted to, but he's, he's really, he's going up to the top rope now. As the locker room looks on, Warren West with a nip up. Whoa, what the What's hell? What's he doing here? Whoa. He jumps up, he slips, he gets it back up. Wait, oh, headbutt. Again, that slippage. You gotta have your feet underneath what? you. Oh, he he's grabbing him by the crutch. He's got a handful of them off. Oh, he has him. He has him. He's grabbing him. No, get it done. He goes off. Big slam. Whoa. Orin West! Orin West! They're coming alive here! They're coming alive! He nailed them! One, he nailed two, them! No! Moss kicks out at two and a half on the crossbody. This place has come Whoa. unglued. You just stole my line, but yes, they are! They are alive here in Anchorage, Alaska! They are alive! Listen to them! They're going nuts! Orin Kick. West! No! My feet! Oh, takes oh. his head off with a discus clothesline! What a match! This has got to be it here. That was nasty Larry. No, come on, Moff. Pulls him up at two. The 907 locker room still rooting on here, trying to give Orin the energy he needs to get up, to get back in this fight. Moff now staring at Dion and the shirt's coming off. Basilla's own Dion Rusman firmly in support of all the students here at the 907 Academy. And Moff now looking for a suplex. He's up. Nope. He blocks it. Into the small package. Small package! One, One two, two she no. no! Only two! This kid has given it all he's got against Danny Ma. The I fans, the fans, and the all oh, the fans and the wrestlers here. Orange saying, "Bring it on!" Oh, disrespectful spit! To the he face. just spit in the face of the Boricua badass. The tension, you could cut it with a knife. What's he doing here? Oh, shoulders now. Laying him in the mouth pit section. As the 907 slapped the ring. Count along here, he's going up. We're gonna get a, yep, here we go. 10 punches in the corner. Whoop, Moss slips out. Oh! oh. Kicks oh. up, chop to the back. He could be center, he tucks the chin, he could be super kick out of yeah. team. Jesus, he did. How much, I'm going to say how much more can I say the resilience oh. of this but kid. No. Shut up, Chris Robinson, pay attention. He is set up in pro position. JT West is trying to talk to his son, but if you know anything about Dan Moff, you know what's next. He's set up for this cannibal. If he does not move, he is going to get crushed. The fans. The wrestlers trying to rally up behind. Mom oh. eats shit on the corner. Orin West, he got it. This is his chance, kid. This is your chance. Make the most of it. Elbow, shoulder, pin him, pin him. He got it. One, two, three. He got it. Holy shit! He did it. He did it. One. What an upset! One. Yeah. Orin Orin. West. has defeated Danny Moff here in Anchorage in front of an absolutely bewildered crowd as the 907 Academy looks on and JT West now hugging his son in the middle of the ring there. Wow. And wait a minute, Moff back there. Come on, Moff, it's over. It's over, Moff. Come on, Moff. Look. Big right hand with a microphone from JT West. 
<laughs> with the microphone? He had the microphone in his right hand, I assume. From my vantage point, it looks like he hit him with it. JG West is firing up! The crowd chanting JT! Hugging his boy! Hugging the younger West! What a moment! Wow! Look at Bobcat! He looks great! Bobcat in phenomenal shape, of course. What a moment here for Oren West. The, the, definitely the biggest win of his career. His young, you young career. You freaking think, man! He just beat Dan! <laughs> what the hell do you think? You definitely the biggest one. Yeah! No shit! I'm sorry Kevin Matthews is so calm here tonight. I wish he'd fire up a little bit. <laughs> oh, the sarcasm runs deep with this one, ladies and gentlemen. Look at JT West! Dude, who wants to go, baby? I smell a comeback. This is JT West 2.0.